hello guys it's me again and in today's video i have some good news about the wi-fi for mac os sequoia since last night the developers at open core legacy patcher pushed the commit and which it it support the mac os sequoia under the sequoia development repository so in this video i'm going to show you how we can patch our wi-fi as you can see this is the beta 2 of the mac os sequoia which brought in the iphone mir mirroring so let's see how this one will go so first of all you need to have the artifacts also these artifacts you need to download the application and you need a, an account with github i'll leave a link in the description where you can you can get this url so you can download it at your convenience and so the the drill is just the same like for sonoma you need the io 802 11 family legacy cakes and io skywalk family version 1.1.0 .1 so also i'll leave a link in the description where you can download it it's in the same repository so you don't have to worry about it you can just go to payloads right here and then you go on cakes and wi-fi so you can download the io 802 11 family legacy and io skywalk so that's all so first of all let me just open my efi and also before i forgot you need to disable your zip so if you go to csr util status You can see I've already disabled it, so that's that's the that's a requirement. So let me just first let me extract these two cats and let me mount my EFI for the Mac OS Sequoia and so let me just open my efi like so cakes so okay these are the cakes right here let's just move it to trash and then let's copy this one i had already set that set this one up before on my previous video i show you that so let me just add it paste it there Okay, so let me just open it with and then just you need to remove all the cakes and then re-add them and okay so guys here we have our config.py list let me just I'll not be needing this one and I'll not be needing this one. So this the IO Skywalk family needs to be right there and the rest is the same. So I'll just add the main kernel of 24.0.0 .0 .0 for all the three new newly installed cats, the Wi-Fi cats. So all right so with that one done if you come here to the block we need to block the io skywalk and exclude it and then we need to make it enable so let's go to nvram again come here and i know there is a mfi text that is updated but i like to use the mfi equal to zero times eight ten sorry zero times eight ten so 
I like this one and that's all so save your config.plist close this one and then this is our downloaded open core legacy patch app so let me just ex extract it again okay so so yeah it is so let me just open it and click on done come here to your settings and just go down to privacy and security down down open anyway let's wait for it to respond open key in your password let's wait for it to install additional components as for now i'm using the usb tethering on my phone so as you can see it's connected let's wait for it okay so it, this is the open core legacy patch of version 1.6.0 nightly so let's try and install the root patch so as you can see here uh, we have our cp is enabled and currently booted to so if you open our efi let me show you open go configurator and you can see right here the the csr active config is okay so what i need to do i need to restart and reset the nvram so we can come again and patch it so i'll just pause the video and come back when I... okay folks so we have just restarted let's again open our open core legacy patcher and let's wait for it to installing additional components so this is the this is my skylake rig the intel core 3 6100 okay so okay so it has opened so let's try and install the root patch okay so there we go you can see right here the available patches for your system is networking modern wireless you can see right here i don't have it's not showing the wi-fi since we installed the cats so let's start the patching and see if it will work okay that's good that's nice So it's rebuilding okay so our patch was successfully so we need to reboot so again i'm gonna pause the video sorry i'm gonna stop it and save it so we can come back and see after the reboot so the time is 11 28 so let's okay guys so the reboot has just been done and i can confirm the wi-fi is working you can see right here and let me just you can see let me just remove the usb tethering so that we can check and see so let me just turn it off 
like so okay so right here the usb is not working and the wi-fi let me just connect the wi-fi and there we go the wi-fi is connected and we have some wi-fi log script title i don't know what this is but let's open our browser and see if the let me just open my firefox called google so you can see right here the wi-fi is connected so boom you can see the the wi-fi is working and i can go youtube see so guys that's it for this video i hope someone can get all the necessary cakes and then you can patch your wi-fi for your mac os sequoia and yeah oh let's let me show you the why is this one if you go to system report right here we can see let's ignore that let's and if you go to wi-fi let's come here to wi-fi so you can see the wi-fi is working the broadcom and everything status is connected supported and yeah everything is working just perfectly i don't have a phone so i iphone so i can try it but i can confirm everything is working perfectly and yeah just enjoy your Macintosh sequoia and i'll see you on the next one